What's up guys, so today I'm going to do a quick video on my top 5 supplements that I would take or recommend to my clients. Um, a quick disclaimer to start with, supplements are such a small part of things that um, you should really be making sure that you're nailing down the bigger picture which is our calories and our macros first before stressing over and worrying if you're taking the right supplements. Um, they should be definitely later on on the, on the lower end of that list. So, number five, vitamin D3. Vitamin D um, is, a, is a, a vitamin that our body naturally produces, but only when we get um, a lot of exposure to UV light, i.e. the sun. Now, being in the UK, we don't get a lot of sunlight, unfortunately, especially as we move through the seasons. Um, and especially if you're in an inside job or a job that keeps you sheltered from the sun, then you're not going to produce as much. So what this is, is it's, it's actually been proven to, or some studies have shown that it improves cognitive function, so brain function, ability to concentrate, um, and it's also been stated that it can increase natural testosterone levels. Um, best time to take this supplement would be in the morning with either some form of fats, because it's a fat-soluble um, vitamin, um, and probably best taken with the next supplement that I'm going to tell you with at the same time. So supplement number four would be fish oils. Now, fish oils are a very good supplement, um, and again, it's one of the ones that if you do not get enough fish in your diet, it's going to benefit you. If you have fish quite regularly through your diet, you probably don't need it. What it does is it allows us to get essential fatty acids from fish, so some of our, so our amigas, that we um, you can gain from fish, um, our body needs them, okay? So just like protein, and we have essential proteins that we can only get and our body cannot produce itself, we have essential fatty acids that our body, again, cannot produce itself, so we need to consume them through diet. So again, like you say, take these, and it doesn't matter what time of day that you take them, if you're taking vitamin D3, take it while you take your fish oils, um, but again, it can be taken at any time. And one little tip that I've seen, although I haven't tried it yet, so don't quote me on this, but apparently sticking in your fish oils into the freezer can apparently stop that little um, sort of reflux of the taste of the fish oils because it, it comes up the rest of the day and it tastes disgusting. Um, so yeah, but again, I've I just seen that on Instagram. Whether it actually works, I don't know. Um, number three multivitamins. This is, for me, just a um, supplement to help cover all bases. Our body has a lot of vitamins that we need daily and most people will be deficient in some form of vitamin. Um, everybody's probably different depending on the lifestyle and diet that you live. Um, it can be very difficult to make sure that you're getting in every single vitamin um, through different sources of food and really, in fact, looking at it, it's probably just more stress and more hassle than it's worth. Um, Taking simply a multivitamin is just going to cover your bases and I wouldn't worry about the time of day you take it. I would take it in the morning again with all your fish oils and vitamin D3 if you're taking them. Um, but again, just make sure that we're, we're providing the body with the vitamins that it needs. And if it doesn't need them, then it will just discard them and get rid of them. Supplement number two. Probably one of the most researched supplements on the market and probably your best bang for buck one as well. And that is creatine. Now, people will say that creatine is useless. It just makes you hold water. I mean, you will get some form of water retention from when you begin to take in creatine. But again, the amount is very little and probably not that noticeable. Um, but what it will do and what creatine is effectively is it's like a carrier. It's like a taxi driver for... Um, energy in our body. Now what happens is when we use energy, ATP, it's like the currency of the cell, um, it breaks down and what creatine does is it helps pretty much repair it back so that we're ready to go again. And this is more of a short term post, um, process, so you're talking like, you know, increased recovery between sets, um, you might, it might help you get that extra couple of reps in the gym. Now don't go quoting it, I'm not saying that that's just as what I would do in regards to you may just get a little bit more from your workouts from when you use creatine compared to maybe when you don't. 
Um, our bodies already actually have creatine in them. We get a lot of creatine from red meats. Um, but supplementing them with it, make sure that you're getting enough in and it'll benefit your workout. And again, there is no specific time of the day, uh, specific, specific, specific time of the day to take it. Um, a lot of people will say, you have to take it before you work out or after you work out. It really doesn't really matter. It's not, it's one that our body will just hold on to for when it needs it. And number one, and the reason this is at the top of my list is because this is more for the general public and actually for anyone, really. Um, and number one is obviously whey protein. Now, whey is a simple form of protein. It's not going to make you bulky. It's not going to make that. It is literally just protein. That is all it is. Um, there is a lot of fats and carbs in there, but very, very minuscule. And if you really just want pure protein, then get isolate protein, whey isolate protein. Now, what does this do? If you're struggling to meet a protein intake for your um, desired goal, and you can't make it through natural foods, um, then or natural sources, then whey protein is an ideal supplement to help increase your protein intake. Um, it's going to allow you to hit your targets, especially if you're in a dieting phase. Nine times out of ten, as well, protein is increased on what you're. You, in fact, it should be increased on what you're, you're taking, unless you're taking in too much when you're in a surplus. But anyway, um. And it's going to help you, allow you to hit that target. And if you're in a dieting phase, again, our main aim is to maintain and hold on to as much muscle mass as we possibly can. So a lot of pe people and a lot of my clients have benef benefited from taking whey protein because it makes it a lot easier for them to hit the protein intake. Because chewing down numerous chicken breasts or meat or fish a day is... It gets a bit monotonous at times, so it can liven things up. So that's my top five of what supplements to take. But as I said at the start, they are a very small part of nutrition as a whole, and there are bigger things. There is a bigger picture that we need to first look at before we begin to look at the supplements that we need. I hope this helps. Have a good day, guys.